Hello everybody, we Rabbit here, and welcome back to our LP of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the previous part, we had discovered some stuff on the overworld. Um, the last thing we did, if I remember, is that we did one of those light routes underground, and then we were kind of seeing that was interesting. That apparently, wherever a shrine is, it seems like a light route is, so that seems like a good clue to, you know, how to track those down. And yeah. we noticed that the name was the same thing, but backwards, so that was kind of cool. Uh, after that, though, I said we were going to start heading towards the Rito village. And if you look at the map, it looks like we're really close to our marker. The reason I stopped, though, and decided to uh, continue the video is because since the last time we played, uh, yeah, we got to this location that's one of those, um, what would be one of the horse stables. But apparently, it looks like there's not a horse stable here. And instead, it's going to be that newspaper thing. The Lucky Gazette, I think is what it's called. So I said, hey, let's just start here, talk to the people, see what they say, and then we'll continue to the Rito Village. It should be like that way. So, yeah. Legend of Zelda is here. I think you heard him earlier. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm back for the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, yeah, I'm continuing the journey with, along with Wee Rabbit. And yeah, we're going to get into this, you know? Yeah. All right, so Pen, we met him at the uh, other tower. He says, shush. Tracy, our editor here, is getting ready for a big Princess Zelda investigation. You're here about our newspaper, right? Then you can talk to me too. I'm next in charge. Ah. Oh, wait a minute. It's you. I gotta say, you did a good job getting out here to find us. It's quite a hike from Lookout Landing when you haven't got wings, but here you are. Was it easy to find the place? Oh. Some folks passed by without a second look. After all, it was a stable until Tracy cheated the previous... Wow. <laughs> really proud of that. Cheated the previous owner out of it. Yeah. But you don't miss a thing, do you? Not bad, not bad at all. I assume you came for the job. You want to work for the newspaper, right? I'll vouch for you with Tracy. Oh. Just picture it. Traveling the world as a reporter, shining light on the truth. We'll be partners out there. Oh. She's all mad because we're talking. She's like, hey, quiet. Uh, I don't know if you want to read for her right now. Huh? Don't you list, um, listen, Pen? I told you I was busy, but you keep bothering me. And another thing, I bought this place from the owner after we came to a fair, mutually beneficial agreement. Yeah, because he's all saying, like, she cheated him out of it. He's being all like... Could you... Can you stop telling people I cheated him out of it? Oh. I... Sorry, Tracy, but there's a new applicant for a reporter job I want you to know. Huh? New apl um, appliance? No, applicant, you mean? Applicant, yeah, appliance. New appliance, <laughs> yes, he's a toaster. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, hang on. You look like... Ah! L L hey, sorry, Pen, but could you give me, um, could you give me and this guy a second here? I don't get it. So I, I guess she knows that we're late, but I don't know why she wants to keep that secret for some reason. But ah. all right, how about you give me the whole story, Link? I'm the editor of the Lucky Clover Gazette. Oh, Lucky Clover. Cause I just said Lucky yeah. Gazette. Because that's Clover what the place Gazette. was called. Yeah, Lucky yeah. Clover Gazette. There you go. Um, here, if you couldn't tell, so don't worry. I know everyone involved with the story. Kura asked us for the. For help digging into what happened to Princess Zelda. Now, tell me everything. What exactly brought you here? Start doing that. Yeah, he, Interesting. He, he spoke like one sentence. That's why she asked you to investigate places seriously um, um, impacted by the upheaval. Huh. Well, coming here was a great call. What I mean is, we're getting tips from all over Hyrule. So many, in fact, that it's been hard to keep up. Damn. And among those tips, we've been hearing about someone who looks like the princess appearing in all sorts of places. Oh, yeah, because one of the things we saw that she was, like, near the castle. Yeah. And then she, like, flew away. And then they said that supposedly they saw her in all the regions at once and stuff, which is weird. Oh. I was about to assign Penn to chase those leads, but he can use a partner. I won't tell Penn who you are. It's better if no one knows you're involved. What do you say? Think you could work with him as an investi um, as we investigate? Would he care if he knew we were, like, if anything, he might just be happier? Like, why does she, like, I don't, I don't know. know. He hates him. Oh, I hate Link. I don't <laughs> yeah. want to work with him. Of course, I wouldn't ask you to do this for free, though. That'd be nice. Wait, just a second. I'm going to get you a little inci um, incentive from the back. Oh. Here we go. Oh. Ta-da! The full set of froggy armor. <laughs> What's that on? It's easy to cling to wet surfaces, no slipping. Oh, that's nice. You work with Penn to chase down all these news stories, then I'll give you this armor, piece by piece, all yours. Wow. A pretty good deal there, Link. Anyway, that's my offer. Hey. Penn, you can come back in. You that's actually back. pretty good, because it sucks when you slip when it's like raining and stuff. Or it's like, yeah. Starting now, this guy's your partner. Why is this guy my partner? 
You think I'm not green enough to do my own job? <laughs> well, if our editor here says you're in, then it looks like I had you sized up right. Tracy knows how to pick them. Oh. All right, you two. Here's what you're going to do. Visit every stable for leads. Pen, you'll head this up all up. Stables bring in people, and people bring details, and details are what we need. Now, get me some news. Bring me pictures of Spider-Man. <laughs> bring me pictures of Spider-Man. <laughs> all right. Cool, cool, cool. So we can't buy them, though. We have to, like, We have to keep stuff. doing stuff, yeah. All right, that's not too bad, though, I guess. Give me pictures of Spider-Man. Bring me pictures of Spider-Man. <laughs> all right, what does this guy say? Uh, I guess it's time to collect some wood. No kindling shortcuts. My hilly and pine cone mishap taught me that. Gotta do the work and chop down the trees. Hmm? Oh, welcome. This is Rito Stable. Mm. No, it's not. It's the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm sorry. Old habits die hard. Harlan Stables do, clearly. Ahem, I just do odd jobs, so if you have business with the Lucky Clover Gazette, please ask someone inside. Yeah, what's this about the pinecone? What was that about? Perhaps due to the normal weather, there's been an explosive increase in helium pine cones. They're very oily on the inside and burn really well. Too well, in fact. I tried tossing one into the fire for kindling, and it went up so violently created a whirlwind. Ah. Which insurance and all the freshly printed newspapers flying far, far away. Okay. Oh. So basically, you find a, a, I think I found like one earlier. So throw it into the fire, that'll help you like launch into the air. That's pretty Yeah, good. it causes like a gust. All right. Which stable first? Ah. Okay, listen up, partner. We're on the trail of the truth about Princess Zelda. We can't let even the smallest clue slip through our talents. Our hands, in your case. We should visit as many stables as we can. Travelers always have plenty of going on to talk about. <laughs> like that. <laughs> so long. That's cool. Link's just like, yeah, The okay. truth about Princess Zelda, is she a criminal? All right. Is she like, oh yeah, like, since she's a gay figure, I mean, how they're always like, accusing most of stuff. Yeah. Flight rain, snowy path climbing path. I need pictures of Princess Zelda. I need to get that teleporting menace. <laughs> right, there we go. Hey, I'm gonna get pictures of these, look. Who's like falls straight down and just die? That's a huge ass hole. He dies and then. That's it. What if one was like a straight, a huge hole? And we didn't know it. That would be funny. Eh? That would be kind of funny, honestly. Oh, there's. Oh, there's an enemy right there. I think it's this? like it's the thing. It's those guys. Oh, those guys. Damn, I hate these guys. I think these are like. Like I heard from somewhere that apparently if you like give them your eye. No, those are different guys. Never mind. I'm I thought there was like I, I remember hearing somewhere that they said that these guys like give you better items supposedly. Okay. Octorock tentacle. Yeah. Ooh, wheat. And then we can use it to make like bread and stuff. Yeah. Dude, he dropped a lot of like, food a part. for some reason. Yeah. And his food. All right, so we need to go that Did way. Do they eat wheat then, or what? I don't know. That's that's weird. That we really had that. Right, unless so he was his cover, unless he was covering So him. we need to go that way. Except... I think you have to go, uh, um, to the... Keep There's walking a lot of water here. See? Yeah. Yeah, there's supposed to be a bridge where it broke, I guess. Well, what if we use the past thing? Can we, like, maybe connect it again? Let's see. Oh, oh if not, we just learned. Maybe we can throw a pine cone and fly across or something. The recall? I don't think it might not work. Let's see. No. Yeah, just throw the, the, the bridge. Just try to make it down. Dumbass. Pine cone. The bridge is busted. Okay, let's see. Oh, I'm trying to get the right angle right here. And just go like that. Whee! That's crazy. That's really cool. That is really cool. Here we go. Retail Village, huh? Yeah. I'm sorry, I would laugh if one of these he just falls and just dies because he goes like, straight to a bottomless pit. Like, it would suck, but it would be really funny, honestly. Yeah. Like, oh shit, bye, Link. Alright. Oh, it's funny because he died. Okay. It's funny because he's dead. All, all happy. How come this one didn't break? The story of the ugly barnacle. Oh yeah, he was so ugly, everyone, everyone died. died. The end. And Spongebob felt worse about himself. That was funny though. He was thinking... expecting some of these to like, do something, but no. <laughs> Thor was so dumb and so short too. I yeah, know, it wasn't even helpful either. He was either. so ugly Ooh, that everyone died. Joe chest. Yeah, that was a barrel. No, wrong one. Everyone was so ugly he died. No, he was so ugly everyone died. Everyone died, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
so stupid. It sounds so... Like, when you imagine the dark... It's so ugly, everyone died. The end. The ugly barnacle. Guys. Even though aren't barnacles normally like ugly and stuff? Yeah, all I think barnacles are they're just like these like weird things that hang on to animals and like Yeah, they don't really have any features, honestly. Yeah, so like that means that that, <laughs> that he was What's really bad. There's nothing there, I guess. I think I see something. Yo. Oh that's silly. That should be able to break ice. Come yeah. on. Yeah. That's silly. Alright, hold on. Yo, maybe you have to like get like Fire. No, I'm trying to think, yeah. Fire, um, fire. No, I'm trying to think, yeah, it's wood and a piece of flint, right? Yeah. Wood fire. and where's flint? Flint. Oh, how many flint? I thought yeah, I think somewhere. it was up there, though. Where is it? No. Oh, it's right here. There we go. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's one of the top materials. I was gonna say, why do I not see it? I was gonna get mad. I was gonna get pissed off. Yeah, let's break it. There we go. No, that's so cool. It's an treasure chest. See, it was worth it. It's Minecraft. It's Minecraft. Purple. Ooh, that's pretty good. No, I don't know the money's not in the wild. Like, you have to be looking for it. Yeah. There's blue choo choo's nearby. I can hear them. I hear, I hear whistling. I don't know if that's the music or if that's like. like... I think it's part of the music, but I heard like literally like, like when the blue choo choo's like pop up. Oh, really? And they try to freeze stuff. I heard, I heard them right now. This is where our marker was, so we're in the area we need to be. Dang! So the retails are probably having a hard time guessing because it's all snowy. I'm yeah. pretty sure like that they're not made for the snow. Now that I think about it, none of the tribes are made for the snow, are they? No. Because neither are like the the Gorons or like the Garuda or anything. Especially Gorons, as we can see in what's it called? Um... They did all right in Majora's Mask. Like, they weren't happy. I mean, one of them froze says because he went too far, but they were doing all right. But there was literally one dying, though. So, I mean, that's... Well, yeah, because he went out in a snowstorm. No, but I mean, like, like the dude with the, the, the mask on his head, that's what I was talking about. Because it's especially because... Oh, but yeah, that was his fault because he climbed the, the freaking... Yeah. You know, thing, and he didn't, couldn't get the, the point is, I think, I think Gorons would survive easier than Garuda. I think Garuda would not make it at all because they're desert people, so... So, like, being... And then their clothing's more, like... Like, lighter and yeah. like they don't have like heavier clothing yet. yeah all right so it says there's like a shop over here you see it yeah oh there we go oh yeah if you listen to the music hello little birds just a scare you can, you can just hear pop up hi kids you can hear it's still music from dragon roost is it yeah oh you can hear it i got you it's, it's, slow, you. it's more quieter and slower that's why so molly says how are things going mister bad and then genly says we're about to practice our song and then Molly said, oh, I thought that was the, the third one. Uh, it's called the Song of the Stormwind Ark. We're all going to sing it together to save our village from the upheaval. Huh? They're not. Well, are you going to listen to our song? Uh, sure. Yeah. Yay, we love an audience, so we'll give it our best for you. Everyone ready? A one and a two and... Cute. Uh, once a guard fell from heaven, stealing the Hebrew winds... The heavens grew lifeless, just as the air below thin. With the world in upheaval, we pledged to help the Lord. A line of ships, sorry, built as a passage skyward. The god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. Its winds brought us new life, thanks to its great divine spark. I don't know what y'all are talking about, but okay. You know, this song's about the ark that saved Rito Village a long, long time ago. Something bad happened then, just like it's happening now. Hey, that's Stormwind Ark. Is it really real? I'd be so happy if it was. It certainly is. Papa told me it's always watching over us high in the sky. Uh, we sure can use its help with this awful blizzard. Most of the adults aren't around anymore because of the weird weather. Uh, oh, that's weird. Where would they go? Damn. Well, if we don't have the Ark and we don't have the adults, it's up to us kids to take care of the village. Party is over for today. Again, Lee, you're in charge of food. And Molly, you'll need to... Wow, they really are by themselves. What the hell? Yeah. Where did the adults go? We've all had our jobs to do, so let's do them. Hey. Yo, they had left yeah. our kids to die. Kid power. Yo, for real, all the kids are by themselves, like, literally. No, look at the little kid, it's running. And I'm like, away. Yo, cool. Yeah. This is just singing, lazy bitch. I'm just kidding. Yo, it's the way they the, the little models, you can tell, like, Animal Crossing, when they, like, sing. Yeah. You can tell they really were like, what should we do when they, like, sing and stuff. Dang, that's crazy. Yo, everyone's gone and dying. So where the hell are the at? Yeah, look, this is our kid. He's a different kid. 
Mm. Oh, there was knots, right? This one's cots. Yeah. Or is this the one that flew away, actually? Knots. The one that flew away was knots. Yeah. Want... Oh, no, I did again. The beds are too soft and inviting. <laughs> too soft and inviting. It's not a good thing. Eat the customer. Who's sleeping? It wasn't me. Oh, she made it too soft and she fell asleep. That's what she said. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm like, why is the bed in soft bed? Oh, uh, I wasn't sleepy. Not me. Welcome to the Swallows Roost Inn. We don't have any other guests at the moment, so rest easy and rest well. A regular bed is 20 rupees and a silky soft Rito bed is 50. Silky soft? Lots of Rito feathers. It's soft and fluffy and gives the best of sleeps ever. Yo, they out here having factories where they pull each other's... Right? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, just go sleep without. Go thing. sleep next to the fight. I'm just kidding. I mean, you can um, actually do that. That would probably be better. Damn, this is crazy. So all the adults are gone, huh? That's weird. Yeah, look, it's literally all kids. What the hell? Welcome. <gasps> Cree. Hooray, right, customer. Welcome to the Slippery Falcon General Store. Thanks for stopping by in spite of the weather. So, um, what can I do for you, mister? Slippery Falcon? Yeah. <gasps> like Slippy Falcon and Falcon? Oh, uh, I mean, Slippy Falcon. Falcon. Kind of. Oh, what's this sauce? Oil. Oil jar. A mild oil extractor. Oh, you can use that for cooking, like cooking. Or food of fire. That's cool. What is... Oh, Ganley's the one that left earlier. Hi! Full tummies make for happy Rito. That's why I like learning the meals out of the recipe book. I saw one in here that I know everyone would love. I fish pie made with Staminoka bass. Doesn't that sound yummy? Uh, I don't have any Staminoka bass. That's the blizzard. No, we're not getting you anything. I have everything else. Chabot the wheat, goat butter, rock salt. I don't think I have any of those basses in if I wanted to, right? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, even if I want to, I don't seem to have them. No, um, the moment she starts asking about how she can't get no. something, I'm like, no, we're not doing anything. He's a huge meme. Ooh, that close. This is probably good for the wind, wind, weather. This is singing. This is Keel. Hi, hi. Thanks for coming in. Even though it's snowing so hard, it's cold on the mountain, but it's even colder on top of the mountain. You'll freeze saw at the peak if you don't find a way to keep warm. Lucky for you, we sell warm clothes. Ah. What brings you to the shop today? Okay, let's see what, how much they sell them for. Yeah. Hey. So after like, uh, I was excellent to skip it. I probably should have paid. Oh, it's saying you can sell orders. Okay, I thought so. Uh, let's see. Let's start with six hundred and fifty. Fifty. Five hundred. Five. A thousand. What the hell? Why are the the most expensive? So we did a thousand, five hundred, a thousand. So we need um two thousand one hundred and fifty or something like that. Yeah. Damn. We do not have our time to win. That's, that's crazy. That's bullshit. I was about to say Although we do have some stuff to sell, I guess, but... No, maybe we have a bunch of ores, but I don't think so. I think we can pick some food if we need to. Oh, we can grab some materials if we want. I think we're fine. Alrighty, so no adults, huh? That's really weird. I wonder why. They left their kids to die. I, mean, I think they went. They left because they were trying to help the kids. Like they're trying to like, they like find stuff. food and stuff. And yeah. All right, we should do that shrine right now, so yeah. we can like, tell her around whenever we want. Let's see. But me, I'm like, no, nah, man. It's because they, they left the kids to they die. Left the kids to die but... Yeah, like everything's like empty everywhere. Oh, let's see. I'll freeze them solid. What are you up to? Ah. Oh, there's Molly. Hmm. How about this one? Huh? You need something, mister? Because I'm actually kind of busy. Oh. My papa told me you can use ice fruit to freeze monster solid. Which gave me an amazing idea for an invention. Mwaha. My problem is I can't go out to pick fruit right now with the blizzard and all. Oh, it's so not fair. This is the best invention I've come up with in so long. But without ice fruit, I can't make it. No, do we have any? I think we did. Let's see what happens if we talk to her. Because we were Huh, mister? I feel like cold breeze coming from your pouch. No way! What's that stuff you got? That cold jelly-like stuff. Is the white choo-choo jelly from one of the monsters that'll freeze you solid if you touch it? Ah! Wahoo! Waha! It's not exactly what I had in mind, but I bet I can use that to make my big invention. Whoops, I almost forgot. Manners. May I please have one, Mr. No. I'm just kidding. Here you go. Ah! give her all of them? Yay, now I can finally make my invention. Oh. She makes a gun. Right? It's just, here's a gun! Like, what the hell? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Crazy. Just, hey, I seen a doll over there, by the way. Look, in the back. So yeah, there's some adults. Uh, when I attach this to the tip of an arrow, I'll have an arrow that can freeze monsters from far away. Sometimes I'm so smart, I scare myself a little. I wonder what would happen with other materials. You can make arrows with all sorts of effects. Well, wow, listen to me with every breath. I spew out brilliance. Fwah. But I should probably stop talking before I give away all my best ideas. Anyway, here's a thank you present. Okay, more arrows? That's pretty good. 
Uh, you know the reason I like making arrows? It's my papa. He creates the strongest bows around. Oh, let's go get him then. I want to make arrows that'll go perfect with his bows. All I have to do is keep working hard, getting my name out there. One day, I'll be a world famous arrow maker. Once my papa, one my papa can be proud of. Sleepy, Sleepy time, time now. now. <laughs> That's cute. Sleepy time. Like okay. Good bit. Oh shit. Ah, those are mine, Mister. Hold on. Is your problem that you don't have enough wooden arrows? It's important to keep each other in times of need. That's what my papa says. If you want them, they're yours. Well, I'm not fucking a bad. I took this child's arrows, but whatever. You can put them down again. Alright. She's really just gonna fall asleep. Pull out the bow. Pull out the I want to see if she falls asleep. Hold on. Yeah. No, she's staring on the screen. It's so late. Daddy gets crabby if I'm up past my bedtime. The sooner I go to sleep, the sooner I can wake up and start making arrows again. Huh. Okay. Well, maybe she's gonna fall asleep when we leave. Oh, I'm 148. Damn. So, yeah, so she's basically saying you can combine stuff, which we kind of uh, knew from knew. the trailers, like you can combine the eyes and stuff, which is really cool. Yo, have we combined anything lately up until now? Or uh, I used the bombs earlier. Yeah, Remember that's all I say too. That's all I've used so far, so far though. Okay, so there are adults here. Hold on, before that, uh, should we do the shrine open before we talk to them? I think so, huh? Yeah. Because that basically allows us to save. Alright, so let's do that shrine. She makes a gun. That would be funny, she just hands us a gun. Like, what in the hell, child? <laughs> She's like, my daddy's a... Uh, bow and arrow maker, but I, I want to be a gun maker. I want to be a gun maker. <laughs> like, dang. She's like, the future is now, old man. Makes guns. Like, ugh. all sorts of crazy stuff. Like, holy crap. <laughs> this child. Ride the wind. Oh, by the way, in, um, between last part and this part, we found a shrine. It was all right. There was not too much going on. Basically, you just had to strap rockets to a few things to like, move around, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, was, I thought we'd fill them in. It wasn't like that big of a deal. It's not like it was like, oh my god, you guys missed something really important in it. You guys missed something very important, I'm guessing. <laughs> no, that was alright. It was just like attached to some stuff, and that was it. Okay, just. Yeah, because now you're gonna like die. Oh, okay. Oh. You're gonna die! Wow, that sure was a puzzle. That's scary. Oh, are we diving this time? No. Is there something above you or not? Oh. No. No, okay, good. Yeah, you're right. Because then there's like treasure chests and stuff. Almost every, every level, every shrine has like a secret okay. chest. Dive. Die? Okay. Just, we'll dive. I die? Okay. Damn it. Hold on. There we go. No? Damn it. Hold on. Do it. There we go. Yeah. Okay, no, I think you're enough too. Oh, crap. Woo! This is the craziest dungeon I've ever seen. Now you're gonna want to like probably kill those guys right there and land somewhere too right now. Yeah, I did. Ta da! That was fun. Some were pretty easy. Some don't take a lot more thinking. Some are really easy. As I'm saying, the one that we did earlier with the rockets, it was like really simple. It was just like attach a rocket to a minecart to get to like the second level, and then basically just attach a rocket to that my cart to like get the chest and then from there you can just say fly to the exit it was like really simple so it was even like worth showing well okay what matters about this one is that we can use that now to teleport back and forth and i think maybe we still have a bit of time we can talk to those people see what they say yeah <clears throat> all right cool the only bad part is oh wait hold on what's this uh oh, i thought it was gonna be like a little cave or something like that. no now you can just go off Wait, what the- oh! Okay. okay. Pour out. Yeah. I was a little sound they make. Yeah. I hate it. Oh, well, I don't like them. I think they're annoying. I, no, hate, the noise. I, I hate, hate the noise. I hate for them. I like the noise. I hate them. <laughs> Watch for the opposite. I hate the noise, but I like them. The Poraks are annoying, too. Okay. Yeah, I just don't like them, but I like the little noise they make. I think it sounds funny. Yeah, they're kind of creepy, too. They are. How did they- how did the little elf they, people become that? That's I don't even know, bro. Like, did they, like, shrivel? And then they just, like, merged with, like, the Deku tree? Or, like... I don't know, man. That's some, like, body horror stuff, man. They're like, so, like, Mr. Squ yeah, you passed up. Uh, no, sorry. Um, Squidward Tentacles. When did this all start? This all started when I was born. And oh, it shows, like, everyone was merged with him. That's <laughs> not fair at all! You know I can handle it! Checking out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard. I could even do it alone. 
Dang. Hmm. Hey, isn't this the guy that followed us last time? Was he the champion last time? Do anything. Mm. The village. Let's see if they show his name right now. I thought the other dude was like Glow. That was a champion. No, that was a guy from the past. Oh, that was a different. We're talking about the new champion that took over. I think it's this white guy. It is you! <laughs> this white guy. <laughs> Child, who are you? I don't know who you are. Uh, I, I, have I, no idea. I have no idea who you are. I'm sorry. I kind of I think your dad's familiar. I don't know who you are. Hold on. No, was it, he was the ugly child from the last game. Oh! You know? <laughs> yeah, Teba. See, that should be him. I think okay. that was the guy who took over for, um, the guy who was a dick. The blue one you're talking about? Yeah, I think this, was also I think this is the guy who yeah. became the new champion. Like the, 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 the cold shoulder dude, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Teba says, Link, they told me you were missing. It's good to see you doing well. Oh, new re Oh, so he's the new Rita Elder. What happened to the older Elder? He died? Yeah. Uh, Saki, it's very nice to see you again. I like how her, her, her hair looks like it's like flipped. Mm -hmm. like it's styled. That's, even though it's feathers, like, I don't know how that works. Weird, right? But that's funny. Anyway, it's very nice to see you again. Huh. Do you remember my son Tulin? I literally don't remember who you're talking about. <laughs> he's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. So how long has it been between the two games then? I thought I'd read Maybe somewhere... Like I thought I read somewhere that was only like a year later, or like May 2, but... Maybe like 5 or something? Yeah, because for this kid to be like sort of grown up, because I'm, I'm guessing if we he was even around, time. he was probably like as big as one of like the little girls we saw earlier. Like you know the little pink girl? The little short one? He was probably like that, probably. Well, in the first game, he was like 3 or 5. Yeah, from 3 to 5. So like if that was the case of now... Yeah, now he looks like, like he's like, like 11 or... Yeah, he looks like he's like a young adult now. Well, not a young adult. He looks like he's like... um. Like around like young, like young teen, young yeah. teen, pre -teen, yeah. yeah. Do you know I said Tulin? He's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. Uh. Well, maybe I would be if he didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. <laughs> Fuck you, dad. <laughs> as long as you still think you can take on the world by yourself, you'll always be my little no, chick. pull out the bow and arrow on him. <laughs> what, you think it can't? I'm already full-fledged, you know. You'll change your tune when I ace today's scouting trip. Uh, you can all keep wasting your time treating the sun of the Stormwind Arc like it's real, but not me. Damn, we told Dad to fuck off. Listen, you. He's already out. He's already gone. Unbelievable. He should have, like, shot his son as he's leaving. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Shoots him down. Uh, uh Tuna wants me, uh, wants me to let him go find what's causing the blizzard, and he's having trouble hearing now. He mentioned a song? Uh. It's an old folk song here in Rito Village. Long ago, long, long ago, when we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village was saved thanks to a great flying ship. Okay, I remember I did see that in the uh, trailer. So that's kind of cool. I guess we're going to get to visit it, hopefully. It's like a dungeon. That'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, Arso claims the song that has been passed down through generations. Hmm. It's a song for children, mind you. Few adults will parody it as if it were true. Still, every now and then, you get reports among the retail of a flying ship. Combine that with the blizzard caused by this upheaval, and it seems less far-fetched. No far fetch. Oh, far fetch. Oh, it's a bird. Even if the song of the Stormwind Arc is just a children's rhyme, I suspect that there is something lurking high in the, in the sky. But there is so turbulent now that no Rito can fly close enough to look into it. This is why I say we need to make careful preparations to find the truth. But Tulin, he thinks we cling to that song out of cowardice. Huh. But those are Rito matters. You came for some purpose, yes? What this terrible news? So then, not even Hyrule Castle is safe. If Princess Zelda's appearance and the strange phenomena around the world are related somehow, hmm. Mm. We Rito would ordinarily love to contribute to your search. But this abnormal blizzard shows no sign of stopping and food has grown scarce. Everyone I could spare is already out researching the blizzard or scavenging for food. Mm. So that's where the adults went then. Yeah. Um, my husband hasn't been able to leave the village much since becoming the village elder. Mm. I wish there was something I could do. Ah, but maybe I'm not the one you want. You should try asking Hearth. My friend Hearth has many sources of information. He might already have a lead about Princess Zelda. You see the two bonfires out that way? Yeah. Link's like, no. Yeah. He's in the lodge near them. If you like, you should try visiting him. I. Alright, so I guess we have our next object. Oh, and then look at that. Right past that is this uh the next tower. Uh, tower. So, oh, let's look at the portfolio pick. Oh, we haven't read any of these. Oh my god. There's a few. You know what? We'll, we'll look Omnipura. at these. We'll look at these later. 
Mm -hmm. uh, what I was going to say is that we can stop here for now, and then next time, at least we know what our objective is. We're going to head that way, then hopefully to the tower, and I'm guessing then we'll probably run into two again. Looks easy to be important. But that'll be next time, so I think it's a good place to stop. If you guys like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you, Legend Jolly, for being here. You're welcome, man. All right, it's heating up. It's getting exciting. Let's go that way next time and see what's up. But until then, bye-bye. Bye-bye.